Laura Strutt, the author of the Haynes DIY Wedding Manual and I'm going to show you how to make a simple but really pretty shoulder length wedding veil. You don't need many supplies, you're going to need some veiling. You're looking at about one and a half metres of fine veiling. You'll also need to get a small hair comb, cotton, needle and thread and some dressmaking scissors. First thing we need to do is fold our veiling because we're going to trim the edges. So we're going to fold it in half. This might be how you got it from the shop. So you'll just need to make one more fold. So you're aligning all of the corners. And just neatly work around to create a nice smooth bulk. Now what we need to do is work out the length of the veil. So I want you to just shake it out. And you're going to grab your two upper corners and hold them at the front. Now this part's going to be the front of the veiling that sits over your face so you can decide on the length whether you want it slightly longer or whether you want it shorter. So you just need to gather it up at that section that's going to sit right on the top of your head. And we're going to work two lines of stitches across that point. Take a needle and cotton and we're going to just begin stitching across the centre part here where we've gathered it. Begin at one side just making tiny stitches, so you're looking to move the needle, taking half a centimetre to a centimetre of netting each time you're working across. And so we get right to the other end, and then all we have to do is work back across, so we're working just slightly underneath that line of stitching, so up to a centimetre lower, again just weaving the needle back and forth through the veiling. Finally we need to secure the comb so we're going to take the front section back over and we're going to position our comb so that it sits onto the front of the veil. So we're holding and stitching through those gathered sections so it's just always taking small loop stitches round through the veiling and just keep working it across until the whole comb is stitched in place. If you wanted to make your top of your veil a little bit sparkly, every time you bring the needle through to this side, you could add on a pearl bead or a little gemstone, something to give it a bit of sparkle. So you've worked across the length and then you can always come back again to make sure it's nice and secure. And when you've finished, all we need to do is just make sure you take a stitch that goes around the edge of the comb before we fasten it off with a nice tight knot and that's going to hold it in place. And we'll clip away the thread. And here's your finished two-tier veil. You can find lots more ideas for projects to make in my book, The Haynes DIY Wedding Manual, available from haynes.co.uk.